increasingly uh, federal land managers, but also state and others, are moving towards very process rich. And by that, I don't mean stand up in front of a town hall meeting and the green light goes on and you speak and then sit down. I mean very collaborative dialogue. What do you want? Are there shared values? How can one find a blending of economy and environment? Uh, does that matter when push comes to shove? Does process matter? Is there a way for process to transcend uh, some of the conflict and get uh, get some development? Sure, in mind? of course. Uh, I mean, all these are important. Uh, and Rouse proved it with Columbia. I mean, he basically went around to uh, the people in the in the area where Columbia was built, uh, getting people to agree to it. And this was a huge undertaking. This was the first real new town in the United States. It wasn't a little waterfront village. And this was humongous in relative terms. And he did it because he's a charming, honest man who would go door to door as the head of his company. And uh, it happened. Was it going to happen here? Well, uh, the project died for a reason we haven't mentioned, which is the economy was just taking a deep six sink. And uh, the Rouse Company, for financial reasons, couldn't take the time to do the process you're talking about. They were as good at it as anybody was. Would they have overcome this resistance? I, I still doubt it, just given the nature of the opposition. But, uh, but Rouse was, this, this wasn't some phony PR claim that I'll go out and talk to the people. I mean, he was, he was an Eastern Shoreman. Uh, he was born and raised here, and he was horrified by how the, the nickel subdivisions, as they were called, chopped up the Eastern Shore into little lots. Yeah. And uh, he was intent on showing, I will do a premier development. People can look at that in the county administration and say, to developers who come in, maybe like yourself who would come in, with a project to subdivide and maybe develop an area. Well, this is what Rouse did. And if you do this, this, and this, and this, we'll approve it. And we now have uh, design guidelines and a lot of other things that more forward communities would have to see to it that aesthetically and all other respects, the development fit what they wanted. But uh, the deck was kind of stacked in this case against him because people were so overwhelmed with what had happened when Bay Bridge was built and uh, the subdividers uh, had a field day over there, Dave Nichols being the first one and the biggest one. And uh, they were still rocking back on their heels from feeling that the bucolic eastern shore that they'd come, to, they'd come here for was changing too fast. And Rouse comes to them with, a, with what is relatively a big project. And it scares them or it angers them, and they're not willing to consider it. And that was the frustration he felt. But the process that he would have engaged in had he been able financially to see this through uh, would have been interesting. That would have made for an interesting other book. I felt the book sank when when the, when the uh, auction collapsed. I thought, what the hell am I going to write about now? There's, there's no project here. 